Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, made to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the true emotional deck. Somebody is shocked. There is shocking news that could be good, could be bad. Uh, yeah, shocking news about romance. Now, this came out in my read uh, that I did the other day. It was about marriage. The marriage card was the first one that came out. Romance was like the fifth or the sixth card. Spell love. Um, this could be in regards to love. Um, the shocking news is that somebody could be changing their mind about the things, yeah, that they were do in the um, past or how they would do things in the past. Yeah, because they feel like, it's a spell because of the allure or the attraction that they have towards you. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, the divine feminine or somebody with heavy feminine energy in their chart, uh, in the past they rejected you. Um, but at some point, they are some type of Jezebel. They have that, that allure that um, will bring, or they feel like, maybe this is the energy, maybe they feel like you're the Jezebel spirit. Um, and at the end of the day that you're trying to trap them, but, uh, this could be the reason why they've rejected you in the past because they feel like that you have some type of spell over them because they love you. They love your realness. And that's the thing. And, um, at some point, what they want to do is point the finger at you when they have the Jezebel characteristics and you're the one who's able to make them see what real love is. So in the past, they're able to trap people based upon, the way they feel like they are allure or, or their uh, character, their demeanor is um, that they're God's gift to green earth. And the shocking news is, is that they're discovering that you're the one, but you're rejecting them because in the past they rejected you, you grew. And that's just basically it. I'm going to pull from virtual realities, uh, protect your energy. I got a shuffle. This is a over 100 cards really good deck but uh to see what you need to protect your energy from and then i'll clarify each card um but yeah the jazabel spirit is you know somebody who it, again it says a spell or you know let's just be real um somebody could be trying to cast things on you the way that the energy has been going in the last few weeks and months i should say somebody is jealous of the way that you do things they're very petty petty childish so this is small narrow-minded and this is child protective services investigated for a child mistreatment and abuse this could be past energies this is why they um probably reject love um because of their past they're afraid to love and to be put in the box so that's just kind of how i see it it says sabotage your work uh draining your productivity your product productive energy and resource is becoming successful so here's the thing they're realizing that they can't win when it comes to you divine feminine or the person with heavy divine feminine energy so the romance is there you could be moving on or they could be wanting a romance and this is shocking news to you and also to them because they feel like again you were the one that were promiscuous and that they couldn't trust but it, in actuality it was a childhood things that they had to deal with in order to reflect on which tells me that you moved away because this person had some type of you know um well it's the devil energy when it comes to um somebody that allures you does that make sense and so um let me let me look up and say exactly what the jazabelle characteristics are because i want to make sure you understand what i mean by that uh the jazabelle is somebody who hold on let me see let me read it to you because, again, you know, I don't say things without knowing exactly and explaining exactly what it is that the Jezebel does or what the definitions of certain situations is because, again, you need to be clear on the energy that's around you. Um, it says, what does it mean to be called a Jezebel? Uh, Old-fashioned, disapproving, an immoral woman who deceives people in order to get what she wants that's what it says when I Google it. And it says, what did the Jezebel do in the Bible? In, in, in the Jezebel Bible story, Jezebel was infamous, uh, was infamous for several things, persecuting the prophets uh, of 
Yawi, I can't say Yawi Institute in Worship of Bali in Israel, trying to have the prophet Elijah killed and uh, framing and executing Naboth to get his vineyard. So to do anything, basically, to do anything for whatever the higher, whatever the, the cause is at the time. And so that's been the energy that this person has been um, a part of, or that's the energy that they feel that you've been uh, because of your, um, I call it flower child type energy. And so you thought it was petty. And even though you love them, you were able to be a part of their foolishness. And therefore, since we have the karmic female or the Jezebel energy and the divine feminine, I'm going to pull from the karmic male. You can take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But again, this is your inner chakras, the karmic male. Yeah. So the shocking news is that this might be your twin flame or you might have thought it was your twin flame, but somebody is married right now. Um, it says needs to needs a drink, ne needs a drink, stressed out. So they use, I like to buy me. I like women to buy me things. Yeah, this is the energy they do. Like I said, karmic friends, um, everyone knows, but you, the type of energy this is several online dating accounts and I'm married. So the shocking news is, is that this person could have been married or you could be getting married, but it's stressing them out, whichever way it is. But they like to, like I said, will do anything for um, a, a type of advancement. And that's basically what the Jezebel spirit is. So whether male or female, this person will do anything just for the sake of getting the things that they want. But you're being you're either being romance or you're just loving yourself. And this person is very petty and will always have several several backup plans but they sabotage everything that you do and think make it feels like make you feel like nothing is ever enough if that makes sense so i'm gonna pull tarot and um i think i'm gonna pull from the intuit tarot deck but i'm gonna go ahead and pull the shocking news and all of the bigger cards and then i'll clarify the smaller cards so shocking news is what we're clarifying now what is the shocking news that comes to cancer or to cancer's partner? This card tried to come out, so I'll take it, but I'll pull one to see what comes over. But, um, yeah, you know, this person's energy, again, they'll do anything. Yep, look at that. They'll do anything um, for love or for, for financial gain is what I'm going to say. They'll do anything for financial gain. So the shocking news comes with the first card is judgment, the realization that, Three of Pentacles energy, three years, you've been working on yourself and maybe separated from them. And at the same time, trying to be optimistic, the star energy could be just you having faith in regards to a certain situation, planting seeds that maybe one day this person will come back or uh, will change the way that they see things. And so the shocking energy is that, like I said, they're stressed out you know, you're moving forward. You don't care. Everybody else knows, but them until they find out. Um, and then the, yeah, the struggle was there. Five of Pentacles. So we have five plus three is eight. So seven years and three, eight, you've worked on yourself. The uh, eight of swords energy is overthinking a situation and of the toxicity, the devil energy, like I said, two of cups when it comes to love and manifesting something different, the magician energy. And so what you manifested was love and romance. Let's clarify the romance card. Yeah, you manifested romance out of, yeah, heartbreak. You manifested romance out of heartbreak or just learn to love yourself, three of swords energy, king of wands energy. A king of wands energy says a true leader leads from the heart, inspires others to do more, dream bigger and be better. However, the king of wands also um, can see things, uh, see the big picture and become the leader and overcome all the challenges and the challenges is learning how to love themselves out of insecurity seven of swords energy so the seven of swords energy is like some type of betrayal deception um or somebody getting away with things uh so you had to come up with a strategy and so to be a leader or to overcome or to see the bigger picture your strategy has to be to understand what it what you and why you feel the way you do the spell and the love uh, again, feeling like somebody has you under a spell or you have somebody under a spell, this could be their energy, um, is that, yeah, 
the card. Yes. Yeah. So the Nine of Swords energy comes out twice. So the Nine of Swords is anxiety. Didn't it come out twice? Hmm. I could have swore. No. Wait. Seven of Swords. Maybe that was. Oh, yeah. Right here. No, that's the Eight of Swords. Overthinking. So anxiety. Yeah. So they have this person has anxiety or you have anxiety in regards to the love that you have. You know, you are thinking that this is your twin flame or they feel like you have them under some type of spell, like I said in the beginning. But the trap is here. Trap comes with a fool. Um, you know what? They felt like you were trapping them. Now they feel like a fool and you felt like a fool for allowing this person to trap you. So it's like vice versa energy. Divine feminine, feminine energy comes with ten uh, pentacles energy. Happy life, happy wife. The Ten of Pentacles energy is just like wealth legacy. You want foundations. You want long-term success when it comes to dealing with the person, place, thing, or situation. I'm going to clarify rejected, and then I'll turn around, and I'll clarify um, the childish energy. So rejected, rejected. You know, uh, you felt rejected in the beginning, and now this person feels rejected, but they're still putting it on you or putting things out on you, making it like it's your fault on why they haven't been able to do the things that uh or get away from you and so the shocking news is that you created uh love out of a situation of turmoil and that's what the uh, king of wands normally does you know when it comes to seeing the bigger picture you know leading leading through adversity and that's what any king has to learn to do without putting their ego involved in in the mix of it but sometimes people make head over heart decisions and sometimes people make heart over head decisions and sometimes it's just a point that you know some people cope use coping mechanisms and um needs drinks because they're stressed out but again they still doesn't don't change their childish ways and so being trapped you see that card they didn't want to turn over but they wanted to fall out that card when it comes to reject it yeah four pentacles you had to pull your energy back four years so four plus three is seven that got you to the seven of pentacles the high priestess is trust your intuition um but also knight of swords going after the things that you want be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination and that's the justice that you had to have so change up your outfit let's do it over consequences of someone's actions you are rejecting them because of the consequences of their actions rejection means pulling your energy back finances mentally physically spiritually right high priestess energy and emotionally is what you had to do and you had to be tough in regards to doing that and that's the hangman energy because you've been in limp mode or in, in hangman energy dealing with this person that you feel like is a twin flame and the whole time either they looked at you as a jazabelle or they acted like a jazabelle and that is why this all makes sense down here at the bottom they need a drink because they're stressed out again shocking news they like women uh women to buy them things women or men however take what resonates but at the same time you know their pettiness it's like they're going on dates to try to find a you and somebody else and that's not going to be the case so everyone knows but you um that what they're doing or you know and you just choose to ignore it but everybody knows you know or maybe somebody saw you out with someone else and knew that you were moving on but you know it's valid you know it's valid it's been almost here it is, eight years. You want, you know, you don't want to be in a 10 year mark not being able to rep recognize your worth and what you bring to the table. And so, therefore, you had to move forward and walk away. So, I'm, oh, sorry, that hurt it. So, I'm going to pull from the Intuit. Let me move my microphone. I'm going to pull from the Intuit Tarot um, to clarify stressed out, needing a drink. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I had to adjust my microphone. I'm stressed out, needing a drink um, to see what comes out. So needs a drink and is stressed out. King of Swords energy, you could be dealing with the air energy. And that is somebody who is sarcastic, cold, controlling, unbending, uh, lacks integrity, sharp. I hate all those spam likely calls. Uh, sharp, drunk, on power, and loose cannon. That's why they need a drink to kind of calm their nerves because, again, they're losing you and they know it. I like women to buy me things comes with the ace of wine needing a, a ace of wine Ooh. <laughs> needing an outlet ace of wands energy bubbly under the surface many ideas lack direction emergent and in, uh, ideas inception this is a king of swords in the reverse sorry about that I, I said the king of swords but i didn't tell you it was in reverse so the ace of wands energy is in the reverse as well so this person um is needing an outlet and this is what 
again, the Jazabel does, it makes their energy, um, it makes them feel worthy that they're able to allure people um, with the um, taker type energy um, and be able to get things, to be petty and get gifts, but at the same time, put it on you to make you feel like King of Cups energy. Yeah, make you feel your empathetic nature is uh, the problem or, you know, they take advantage of your empathetic nature, shall I say. And all you want is divine feminine energy to be treated like a divine and to be loved. And so the several online dating accounts is here. The cards fell out this way, which is the equal Vernox and Eight of Cups. Yeah. So again, several online dating accounts release what doesn't serve you. Emotionally unfulfilled. Time to move on and letting go. The uh, also equal Vernox, dark to light. Now, remember, we just had a eclipse um, that it turned the light dark. So, again, timing a few days. It's time, act now, fresh start and awakening. And then the spring, which is right now, it's the springtime. And so the karmic friends, they were the ones. And I always say that. You know, somebody, nobody can really be who they want to be unless somebody supports them. And nine times out of ten, it's the karmic energies that's around them. That's the yes mans that allow people to get away with it. If you look now in the news, you see everything that is uh, coming out with Diddy. And, you know, um, whether it was karmic or not, people are choosing 25 years later to be outed. And they said 2024 is a year of people getting called on their shit. And so... Again, the karmic energies that surround them, and that's the reason why you kind of pull your energy back and only deal with one one or two different energies because all of the karmic energies keeps you in limbo, and you know that. And so, therefore, twin flame energies make you uh, want to work on them, but the shocking news is that you have to pull your energy back and manifest. So the karmic friends, um, lover's energy, yeah, nine of wands energy, yeah, choose your battles. So the karmic friends out of control, be a defensive, retreat, try another approach, approach, overwhelmed, not worthy. Um, so the friends aren't worthy of your time. Feminine energy comes back out. Fem the empress energy, insecure, block creativity. So this karmic friends will make you block or the karmic people in your life. Again, this person, place, thing, or situation will make you block the energies when it comes to love or doing what makes your heart happy. And this person has to realize that that a lot of the people around them, the yes men, are the reason why they kept this Jezebel type energy up. Um, because, see, when insecurity comes, and this is the empress in reverse, when the insecurity comes, it comes because, or excuse me, not insecurity, when you feel insecure or when somebody is accepted, my hands are so ashy, when somebody accepts the bullshit, it's because they're too insecure to find their own outlet. So they use and they thrive off of the other person's energy, which in turn, it helps their karmic ways. And so the lover's energy in the upright is a union, connection, relationships, alignness, openness, uh, romance, harmony, choices, duality, and love. This gives you a different way and a different perspective of looking at it and knowing that everybody knows but them, uh, which is a completion that has to happen. And this is the seat. Uh, decisive moments, chance, life cycles, karma, destiny, good luck, expansion. It's time, fortune, change of fate. So this is, it's, it makes you have a change of fate and learn to love yourself. And that's the shocking news. So whether you're with somebody else, whether it's doing what makes your heart happy, whether it's a new relationship, the completion is, is that everybody knows that you're happy and that this person isn't. And now that you're married or moved on, page of wands energy. Yeah. So this is lovable, rogue, ex exciting plans, charismatic, good news, creative, playful, traveler, childlike, and free thinker. This is who you are. You're married to either loving yourself or creating for yourself, and that's the ending. And that's what the death energy is. It's internal change, clearing and purging, transform, emerging, metamorphosis, rebirth, and regenerate. So out of all of these energies, the divine feminine has found her way especially when it comes to a twin flame. The twin flames are karmic, and they're teaching you a lesson. And so remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person taught you how to have an energetic powerhouse in regards to yourself, and either this is marrying yourself or this is becoming um, one with yourself, or it's you finding the person that you want, the happy life, happy wife, and somebody who is going to give you a lovable 
lovable, lovable exchange and give, you know, and make the exciting plans that you've been looking for this whole time. So again, this is the Jezebel energy that you learned from. So this is internal change, the death energy in the reverse. You're clearing and purging and transforming. And uh, it's a metamorphosis. And that's why if you look over there, you can't really see it. The butterfly is there. You have to be, t you have to turn into a butterfly by experience. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. So I think this is what we need in this situation. I'm going to pull from the four agreements and then I'll pull from the crystal deck. And uh, if you want to know my perspective of the chakras and also the four agreements, I'll put the links up above. Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans will communicate with impeccability of the word, all of our relationships would change. There will be no wars, no violence, and no misunderstandings. So you have to be clear what it is that you're really looking for and what you're looking to gain out of every situation. And sometimes when it comes to dealing with other situations, you have to be the one to make the judgment call of saying, you know what? I need to learn and see what the universe is trying to teach me. The shocking news comes is that the Jezebel is hurt. Here you have it. Shattuckite. It is throat, heart, and third eye chakra. It's communication. Again, don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity, understanding, and amplification. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. And that's from The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shan. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go. Of worn out conditions of lacked out hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys